Hi, this is Ali Shan Mao, and this is the X8 update. Hey, wow, sun came out today. Miracle. Anyway, uh, it's Saturday, and too many annoying people out there on our RC airport, and water is really, really floody level in the river. So we decided to stay home and prepare the X8 right. So uh, first, I'm going to show you what is my plan regarding motor electronics and stuff. Then I'm going to prepare the fuselage first and I will mark the CG uh, that I'm going to go with according to the Skywalker factory they told me the CG. And after that we will go prepare this mess, I mean the wings and stuff. So uh, step by step everything will go, let's just start with the electronics. Uh, I'm going with uh, the... GoTag servos. These are ball bearing servos. Very nice servos. I've used them before. And I decided to go with Hobbywing Flyfun 60 ESC so I can use 4S or 6S LiPo. And uh, here is the motor. Yeah, it's ready with the 13X7 propeller. I feel the spinner is quite big, but this was the only thing I could find with all the people here in China who couldn't understand what I wanted. Anyway, uh, it's ha uh, hollow, so the wind actually will cross and possibly make some good whistling sound too. So the propeller looks good, 13x7, awesome. And my motor is fixed on the motor mount with some screws hanging out here. Um, I'll just put them in uh, inside the foam in there, so they will be like like very very firm and strong that's all that's all I can say so I'm gonna install the bullet connectors okay right there we have the four millimeter gold plated connectors I'm gonna install them on the ESC and the motor today right now of course and uh, basically it's a pusher motor so I'm not worried about this coming out the only thing I need to worry is if the vibration can loosen the motor so I'm gonna put the hot glue on these four spots making these screws at the moment permanent or not coming out on the vibration. So once the motor is ready, it's gonna go in there in the fuselage and uh, I'm gonna stick the two parts of the fuselage and prepare the canopy and everything. After that, I'm gonna put the wooden and the uh, carbon fiber tubes inside, prepare the wings right there in the mess and mount them in. All right, now it's time to uh, go with the CG. So. Uh, According to BEVRC and Skywalker company, the CG, if you, if you see this uh, under the body, under the fuselage, okay, you see this smiley face here, the CG lies here. So where these two uh, holders for your hands end, this line marks your CG on this plane according to the manufacturers and according to the sellers. So that's what I'm gonna go with. That will leave me plenty of space to mount uh, things or put more weight in the front because my ESC and motor are gonna go in the back, okay? And this ESC is uh, having some weight too. Plus my servos will keep the weight under here, possibly, so they are behind the CG, possibly, that's what I think. So I will have my autopilot mounted here, right on the CG, and I can go with the batteries either here, or back here, or front as per my CG on this plane. Because I plan to go with the GoPro in the front, Replay XD in the front as well, or GoPro looking back and Replay XD looking front and so on. So two cameras, I'm gonna put some weight on this bird. All right, so let me get to work. Uh, the dirty one that is soldering. Um, one thing I forgot to tell that I will make a connector because my ESC sits in the back here and if the battery is all the way forward, I need a long connector. So I'm gonna make the connector. That's why my XT60 connectors out here and the extension cable, that's what I should say, with the connectors. Alright, so let me get to work and don't forget to check the new videos and of course my website. I'm changing the complete face of my website. I mean, designing it once again, totally new design because we are launching the new, yes, we are launching the new awesome, complete plug and play FPV systems. You know, you can email me at get the prices and information anytime.